Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Arnott's Shapes. Uh, these are the originals. We have the barbecue, the pizza. And a chicken crimpy. Uh, these were all bought at Jungle Gems International Market. They are made in uh, New Zealand. Uh, I think they were like in the New Zealand, uh, Australian section of the Jungle Gems. The barbecue were $8.49. The chicken were $8.29. And the pizza were $6.99. We don't know why. We don't. Uh, we just buy them. Yeah, we just buy them. And write down the price. Uh, yeah, and when we were in that section, I will just tell you everything in there uh, because it is coming all the way from Australia, New Zealand. Very, very expensive. Uh, but I just decided that we were there and I was going to do it. And I wanted, you know, I have uh, uh, some Australian friends. And I wanted to be able to uh, try some of the stuff that you all have re readily available to you. So I, I wanted to get them. They say oven baked, not fried. You Flavor you can see. So we should be able to see the mm -hmm. uh, flavor. Let's see. Um, servings per package is seven servings. And then they have the funky math. So we're not going to know calories, but that's okay. When I put it on my tongue, I put it with the flavor side down. I do too. It, it definitely has a pizza-like flavor. It's just not a pizza flavor that we're This is that, barbecue. I mean, well, it kind of has a pizza-like flavor. I know. <laughs> That's why I said that. It has it, more of a pizza flavor than a barbecue. I was going to say, it, if, if I were to guess probably blindfolded, it, honestly, I don't like it. It reminds me of Chef Boyardee pasta sauce. I agree. It tastes like Chef Boyardee red sauce. Yeah, and it's because it's really... Which is why Kevin said pizza, because you, when you think of Chef Boyardee, you think of Italian and pizza flavors, mm -hmm. don't you? It has the seasonings like a pizza would. It does not taste like... No. Not like American barbecue. No, not that smoky, sweet barbecue. It no. doesn't taste like that. No, but yeah. I don't care for that one. I don't like the seasonings in it. Mm -hmm. I like the cracker itself, and they are crackers. Um, it I like the cracker season. itself, but it's the seasoning. Yeah, like no, I agree. So this is going to be so much fun because, like, I know nobody would get insulted if we didn't like something, but it, it would be funny to hear one of you all say, "Well, I buy those every week. They're my favorite," and we're like, "That tastes nothing like barbecue, and we don't well, like it." It's just. I don't know. Like I said, this it's the spices that I was talking Yeah, about. yeah. So this is the uh, the pizza. Now, that smells more pizza-like. It does smell like more like pizza. Mm. Yeah, having that now, you can say, okay, that's pizza. That's definitely pizza. Yeah. Although it could be spaghetti sauce too. Um, that tastes like when you go to um, what's that place where you play the games in Lexington? Oh, uh, you always Getty Town. Getty Town. That's like a Getty Town pizza. It's Kevin, very sweet sauce. Kevin always said, I feel like I'm eating pizza sauce on a cracker. That's, that's what it. it. The, if, if you've never been to Getty Town, that's all you need is one of these. That's, yeah. that's it. Yeah. It's not a really rich sauce flavor, but it's got the tomatoes. I get a little basil. Um, I really, really like that though. Barbecue. I like that quite a bit. Um, I think this one is delicious. Yeah, yeah it's funky. The barbecue is just funky. Yeah. But now the pizza, all the time I can Perfect eat that. Pizza. Delicious. We got every one that's listed on the box. The pizza actually does kind of taste like a tomato sauce flavor. The barbecue, I don't know what that tastes like. Chef Lardy, which is not good. Which nobody, I don't know, I don't know how they're still in business. Some people love them. I've done, I've done so many Adults. reviews on them. Adults. Yes, I've done reviews on them and people say, oh, I have SpaghettiOs all the time. I'm like, I don't see how you can eat that squishy stuff. When I was a kid and didn't know any better, then yes. Now? When I was a kid, I didn't eat them either. <laughs> well, if that's all you have. This is yeah. a chicken crimpy. And it's the crimpy is the, uh, I guess, the cut on the cracker. I like the cracker. Mm -hmm. That'd be really good to dip in something. I actually like the chicken flavor. Does that remind you of like a chicken in a basket? Is that what the name of the brand is? Yeah. But it's not as strong. It's not as strong. It's not, not as strong. strong. It reminds, yeah, yeah, I could see that. 
It's more of a chicken broth, a bouillon cube kind of. Honestly, kind of it's more like a club cracker. Yeah, I love the cracker. I do too. I like the cracker in those better than I do the other two. Um, um, you really, I would never yeah. guess that was chicken. When you first put it in your mouth, you get a little bit of a, of a, like I said, bouillon cube is kind of what I'm thinking. But mm -hmm. then after that, it, it just turns into a cracker. Yeah, it's just cracker. But I, I like, like it a Ritz, quite a bit. Ritz, between a Ritz and a Club. Yeah, you could, honestly, I think you could put anything on it. I don't think it That'd would be good interfere. Dip. The dip, that would be an excellent dip. Mm -hmm. Well, the pizza, I love the pizza. That's my number one By flavor. Itself. But definitely these would be my second. See, that would be my first. Really? Well, I mean, I... And I, the pizza would be my second. I agree with you. I like the texture of the cracker more than in these. Um, but... You know, for flavor, I think the pizza has more flavor right. than this. So, but any of these two that you could, uh, not that one. Any of the, either one of these that you could get would be good. So, if I have anyone watching from New Zealand or Australia, you're going to have to tell us, does somebody in your family love those barbecue ones? Because I could get used to it. I could too. It's just, this, like I said, it's just the seasonings are different for us. It's they're just, very different. They're different seasons than what we're used to eating, the combination. Yeah. And I just don't care for them. But right. like you said, you get used to them. You'd get used to it. If you, were raised, if you were raised with that kind of seasonings in your barbecue, then you would just think, I'm wondering if, 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 uh, if all the barbecue sauce, if that tastes like, like the, is this what you get in a bottle of traditional bar yeah, Australian barbecue that sauce? That is not our barbecue sauce. Yeah. yeah. So I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.